you can walk through the house and easily see how beautiful it is and, and what would draw somebody here. The 1895 Victorian mansion drew both Jason Sachs and his husband to it at first sight. So they moved from San Francisco, bought the property, realizing their dream and turning it into a bed and breakfast. Our intention when we saw this house was to put in about $100,000 and make it a shining example of what Queen Anne architecture could be for this region. While business at the Hummingbird home has been good in the three years since they opened, they say things have been rough. The fraternity next door likes to go on these marathon sessions where they rip the furniture out of their home and they throw it from the second floor balcony yelling and screaming as much as they can. Administrators at SUNY Plattsburgh say they are aware of the complaint, but add the student should be treated as city residents. Students who rent off campus are citizens of Plattsburgh and should be treated just like every other citizen of Plattsburgh. If they are breaking laws or city ordinances, they should be held accountable. While police have been involved, Sachs says nothing's changed. So they're putting the property up for sale. Three years of calling the police by myself and other neighbors have not resulted in a change of behavior for them, and I have no expectation that it will. That's part of the reason that we're leaving. Sachs is excited for the next chapter of his life, but saddened it had to come to this. The bulk of my experience here has been heartbreaking. I could have dealt with many of the things that happened, but the treatment that I get on a daily basis from the Plattsburgh SUNY college students is unacceptable. The president of Chi Phi, Michael Castro, declined to comment on our story, other than to say that he thought the situation was resolved. In Plattsburgh, Josh Mitchell, NBC5 News.